Bonjour à tous and welcome to Learn French with Vincent. This is Unité 17, leçon H. And in this lesson, we'll see together se faire plus verbe à l'infinitif. Okay, so we can start right now. And I thought it might be useful to take a simple and short example. So this is the little sentence that we've got. Il se fait coiffer. Okay, so il se fait coiffer. And the thing is that, of course, we can spot here the verb se faire. Okay, so verb pronominal. And this is the infinitive, se faire. And the second verb that we have here is coiffer. And in English, it means to do somebody's hair. And if you take the time to look at the sentence, then it doesn't really make anything, any sense, sorry, when you get il se fait coiffer, because it would be strange that, well, il will do the act, would do the action, okay? And the clue is that se faire est une façon d'exprimer le passif. So we can use se faire as a way to express the passive form. And in that case, it makes more sense because you just realize that il, in that case, doesn't do the action at all. So you could change it and you could put it like that. Il est coiffé par, okay, or then quelqu'un le coiffe. So it's actually quite interesting because it's a common way of uh, expressing the passive form. Okay, and it's quite, uh, well, people use it quite often in French, okay, so it's, it's quite useful to, to know it, okay, so il se fait coiffer actually will mean il est coiffé par, and then you can put the name of the person who is doing his hair, or then quelqu'un le coiffe, okay, so let's see now how it would work if you want to Um, well, translate, uh, to conjugate that, sorry. Je me fais inviter, tu te fais arrêter, il, elle se fait accompagner, nous nous faisons insulter, vous vous faites escorter, ils se font appeler. Okay, so it would be the way to conjugate that. Okay, so me fait, te fait, se fait, nous faisons, vous faites, se font. Okay, and then after that, of course, you put the verb at the infinitive form. Okay, and then basically, this is the meaning. Je me fais inviter, so to be invited. Tu te fais arrêter. Elle se fait accompagner. Nous nous faisons insulter. Vous vous faites escorter. Ils se font appeler. Okay, so it's quite useful and it's not that difficult to, to, to construct. You just need to remember how to conjugate se faire at the present form in that case. And then you put the verb at the infinitive form. Okay, be careful if you want to use se faire and then this structure at the passé composé form, then we'll see how it goes. So first we'll start with les formes au masculin, ok, so what's masculine form. Je me suis fait inviter, tu t'es fait inviter, il s'est fait inviter, nous nous sommes fait inviter, vous vous êtes fait inviter, ils se sont fait inviter. And if you take the time to look at it, uh, probably you can find something a bit strange, because remember that normally when you use être, With these structures, you normally have to put something at the end of your participe passé. So if it's like here, the plural form, normally we should have S here, and here, and also here. But that's the rule. When we will use this structure, you don't put any plural form at the end. Okay, nous nous sommes fait inviter, so it will be like that without S. Okay, so clearly you don't pronounce it when you speak, but then, so you don't really hear the difference, but if you're right, and if you want to write correctly, remember not to put any S at the end, even if it's the plural form. Okay, so it will be more clear when we will see now les formes au féminin, so for the feminine forms. So je me suis fait inviter. Tu t'es fait inviter, 
elle s'est fait inviter, nous nous sommes fait inviter, vous vous êtes fait inviter, elles se sont fait inviter. And in that case, you can see quite clearly that, well, first here, as we decide that all these forms should be for the feminine, it would mean that normally we should put this a uh, at the end. But then in this case, we don't put any final a. Uh, Okay, and then exactly the same rule, we won't put any final S for the plural form. Okay, so that's the rule. Remember that even if we use être, we don't put for the participe passé form, we don't put any mark for the feminine and the plural form. Okay, and that's it. I hope it was clear and helpful. A bientôt, have a great day. Au revoir.